Look, I'm sorry for delaying. It's not exactly something I like talking about. So I wanted to start off with a really early happy memory. Then talk about how I got there. Yeah, it was just a couple years ago. Imagine that. Living life as long as I have, and your earliest, happiest memory is just within the last couple years. So what, do you... Do you want to... Do you want me to start at the beginning? I mean, like, how do you want me to do this? No, I don't want to do this. At all. Fine. So, I don't know how much you know about Neko's livelihoods besides their bad. I was born in a, uh, breeding center. In these breeding centers, they pair up a couple of Nekos, and sometimes they go for it, other times. See, Nekos can't just, uh, propagate. We, we, we can't just give birth to stuff. We, we we have to have a connection. We run on instinct. We don't run on love. We have love. I'm not saying that. We have emotions. It's just when it comes to that, it's instinct. Compatibility is everything to us. My mom was a good person. She, uh... Did her best, I think. See, a parent's job, particularly the mom's job, was to teach the kids... skills. In case they were bought. So... Cooking, cleaning... Jesus Christ. It's not even around July 4th. Why the fuck are they firing fireworks? Oh, I'm sorry for getting mad. You don't have two ears on your head that are more sensitive than any radar in your military. <sighs> Anyways... Anyways, uh, yeah, so, I think mom did her best, uh, taught me how to cook, how to clean, particularly bathrooms. Yes, I'm going to jump every time that happens, okay? It has nothing to do with trauma, it's, my ears are very sensitive. Can we drop it? Can we can we drop my hatred of fireworks? I, I want to get through this. Thank you. Anyways. So I was about eight, nine years old. And uh, I was taken to a house. It was a young lady, probably in her 30s. She seemed nice at first. Uh, 
beautiful red hair, piercing green eyes, beautiful smile. I would do tasks for her like I was supposed to, and she would uh, she would praise me. Until I messed up once. I, uh... Dropped a teacup. Mm, sorry. So I dropped a teacup and it broke. She was not pleased. I tried telling her that it was an accident and you know I was eight you're not the most coordinated when then you're a kid she uh she had this box that she called a kennel and uh it was a decently sized wooden box with a slot in the front. She threw me in there. She threw me in there and... I just remember being alone, her yelling at me, calling me worthless, a bad investment. I was in there for three days. No food or water. Eight years old. Yeah, I'm fine. Eight years old. By day two, I thought she forgot about me. Luckily, third day, she was so gracious enough to open it back up. And I begged her forgiveness. I was so scared. Thought itself is just horrifying. To say the least. No, I don't think I deserved it. Being scolded about my clumsiness, sure. But not exiled. Not trapped in a little prison. No, I don't feel like I deserved that at all. I thought I would do great, but she hurt me. So, so you constantly are afraid, you're constantly overthinking every little thing you do for her. She beats you threatens to throw you out. Streets ain't safe for Nekos. Never have been. I feel sorry for all the girls that have to be disowned. Or thrown out. I'm not going to go into what happens to them. So I get older. Hyper focused on doing everything perfect. And I mess up again. I was sick. No, that's it. I was sick. She said the best way to cure a sick Neko is to not give him food. So I was on a uh, liquid diet, to say the least.
She put a collar on my neck to uh, show she owned me. Oh, no, 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 no. You see these scars on my neck? That's not from a simple little dog collar. It was iron. She welded it to my neck. Do you know how hard it is to not pass out from shock when you literally have a blowtorch inches from your neck welding hot metal? God, I wish they would fucking stop! Yes, I'm focused. Shut the fuck up. Who are you to tell me how I am, how I should react? You weren't there! Nobody was. I was on my own. It wasn't until uh, she made the mistake of bringing me out in public. She was arrogant, got cocky. That's when people notice the, uh, the weldings. See, Neko slavery is kind of an understood thing. It's illegal, but it's understood legally. So, theoretically, you can't have a Neko slave, but as long as you don't talk, as long as you don't say anything, you're safe. And she made the mistake of bringing me out in front of all those people. So that's when cops were called. And I was saved. Do you know how painful it is to get a collar removed that's been welded to your neck? The pain is immeasurable. There's not enough morphine in the world to make you feel calm, collected. Everything hurts. All these scars, all these bruises, burns. Everything she did to me hurts. All the time. You guys don't care about that, do you? No human does, except for a very chosen few. Yeah, I think we're done here. I'll let you know if I want another session. Thank you. Don't praise me, hon. Don't praise me. Because I won't ever not be affected by what's happened to me. And I don't want it to. You deserve someone... You deserve someone who can tolerate pain. Who doesn't flinch at every touch. Yeah, you can pat my head, I guess. Yeah, it's like you made me purr a little bit. Shut up. Pizza would be great. Uh, just uh, pepperoni, please. I'm not in a real anchovy mood. 
I love you too.